The topic of Social Security is a matter of utmost importance, and it is high time for Congress to address it comprehensively. The United States, with its vast budget and resources, is currently in a situation where around 5 million of its citizens receive Social Security checks below the poverty level. This is a deeply concerning situation that demands immediate attention. The conversation around Social Security should not be limited to the annual cost of living adjustment, COLA, or the occasional incremental increase in benefits. Rather, it should encompass a broader perspective that considers substantial across-the-board increases for all Social Security recipients, spanning retirees, individuals reliant on Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and other fixed income benefits. Recently, a video footage emerged from a hearing in the Ways and Means Committee featuring Representative John Larson. He passionately expressed the urgent need for Congress to address the issue of Social Security and make essential modifications. Larson underscored that Social Security is not an entitlement program. It is something that people pay into throughout their working lives. When the time comes for them to receive these benefits, it is crucial that these payments are sufficient to keep up with inflation, which, as he pointed out, is currently spiraling out of control. The heart of the matter is that many Social Security beneficiaries are not living in luxury. In fact, quite the opposite. On average, male beneficiaries receive around $18,000 annually, while female beneficiaries receive approximately $14,000. Furthermore, around 5 million Americans receiving Social Security are living below the poverty line. This is a stark reality that cannot be ignored. Representative Larson argued that nobody is getting wealthy from Social Security, and this is why it is vital for Congress to take immediate action. He urged for comprehensive enhancements to Social Security benefits, indicating that Social Security is not a program to accumulate wealth, but a lifeline for millions of Americans who rely on it for their survival. Furthermore, Larson drew attention to the fact that the Social Security Administration has been significantly understaffed and underfunded. The budget allocated to the agency is inadequate to meet the increasing demands and to ensure beneficiaries receive the support they need. This funding shortfall results in many beneficiaries being unable to reach a human voice or obtain answers to their questions. Additionally, Congress has not taken significant measures to enhance Social Security for 52 years, despite dramatic changes in the economy and the inflationary landscape. Larson passionately argued that it is incumbent on Congress to address this long-standing issue. He emphasized that raising the age of eligibility, as proposed by some, would effectively cut benefits. Every year the age is raised, there is a 7% reduction in benefits, which would only compound the challenges faced by Social Security recipients. Congress needs to act to prevent a looming 43% cut in benefits for individuals who, on average, receive $18,000 annually. This is a critical moment to address these glaring inequities and make meaningful changes to the Social Security system. The time for inaction has long passed, and Congress must take the necessary steps to improve the lives of millions of Social Security beneficiaries. With global inflation on the rise and those on fixed incomes, particularly Social Security, facing the brunt of it, this issue cannot be delayed any longer. The case for significant increases to Social Security benefits, like those proposed by Representative Larson and President Joe Biden in the past, is compelling. In addition to this crucial conversation about increasing Social Security benefits, it is important to note that the hearing's primary purpose was to hold the Social Security Administration accountable. Overpayment issues have been plaguing the system, with millions of beneficiaries receiving daunting letters demanding repayment. This issue has caused distress and financial hardship for many. Despite the fault lying with the Social Security Administration, it is time to rectify these mistakes and provide relief to those who need it. As more information becomes available, we will continue to keep you informed about developments related to Social Security. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to sharing more updates with you in the future.